Agora TV. The world is thinking. And, and focusing still on, on disaster response, um, a chief security officer official in the U.S. Uh, actually wrote this a, a few months ago, um, basically saying that these real-time maps are almost as good as having your own helicopter. And he's talking about this in the context of protests that are happening in the U.K. and other places. This is before um, Tunisia and so on. But he's starting to understand that these live maps can really be helpful tactically and strategically by providing you with real-time situational awareness. And he's a little worried, actually. This whole article that he writes is one where he's ranting and, and, and complaining about, oh, goodness, this is going to get harder for us to do now with protesters and becoming more savvy. And when he writes, you know, real-time maps may be better than a helicopter if you can distract the crew of the, of the helicopter. By that he means, what if in Egypt, for example, the protesters had created a live map and said, okay, we're all going to uh, storm the parliament or something. But in fact, that was totally deceptive and they're legging it the other way to the presidential palace. So he's a little worried on that scent. But I think this idea of a real-time map being your own helicopter has, is a, an appropriate analogy, in my opinion. And, and obviously, I think, has some applications and implications for what we can do in disaster response because we don't all have helicopters in disaster response. We don't even all have uh, balloons like Jeff Warren. Or, or UAVs or what have you, or even satellites, right? So maybe a real-time app can complement that. It's not an either-or, right? It's a, it's a complementary tool. So we started thinking, how can we provide the disaster response community and activists with the best helicopter around, not just any old helicopter? And as we all know, the best helicopter around is Airwolf. So we started thinking about that, and it was actually not us who really came up with the idea. It was when a colleague of ours started referring to the Ushahidi platform as check-ins with a purpose. So we f it took us a while to sort of get it. Um, but then we thought, well, there are plenty of incredible examples of check-ins being really popular for social networking and so on and so forth. Why don't we also apply this idea to disaster response and, and activism, allowing people to do instant mapping, which is what I would call check-ins. Um, so we launched our first check-ins service, very, very alpha version, at South by Southwest a couple of months ago. It's uh, already been used in a, in a couple of real life situations, and uh, we've been piloting it in different uh, areas as well. Been talking most recently with a colleague of mine in Angola who wants to use the check ins idea to identify sort of minefields and so on in, in Angola. So um, that might be a, a potential example of, of how we might be able to use this. And we've been talking to our colleagues at OCHA, who we've been collaborating with on the Libya map, about this because they already started thinking about using check ins months before we did. Um, for disaster response, to check in a disaster response, to check out to be able to identify who's working where and so on. So this is something we hope to continue working with them on and learning about how we can make this feature a little more um, usable for, for their case. So that's...